So today, as I say, marking the launch of the FTSE NSC Kenya Index Series, there's the 25 index and the 15 index that we're looking at. Why the decision to go down this route and in Kenya right now? Well, uh, FTSE hasn't just woken up to the idea that investors are looking for exposure in Africa. In fact, we've had a partnership with the Johannesburg Stock Exchange for nigh on 10 years. Uh, early this year, we had a launch with the exchange in Casablanca to deliver similar indices. So we've had a, a long-term strategy for Africa. And of course, investors globally are looking for diversification. They're looking for access to frontier markets, to emerging markets. And indices play a, a, an important part in tools that allow for analysis, exposure, and of course, ultimately investment into a country like, like Kenya itself. So let's look at exactly what this spells for a market like that of Kenya, where of course, we've got uh, the NSE 20 index, for example, running concurrently. Well, those, those are good indices, but they're not necessarily investable or tradable indices. So the partnership with the Nairobi Stock so, sorry, Securities Exchange and FTSE is about using the exchange's expertise in local capital markets and FTSE's knowledge as a global index provider. And so we look at the indices, they're ranked via market capitalization, but we then look at uh, foreign ownership limits and also liquidity concerns. Uh, we then go through a process of ranking those stocks and create indices that are then suitable for adoption as performance benchmarks or in financial products. Mm. And that makes them quite different from the existing indices. Well, as you said earlier, I mean, uh, uh, forming a large uh, uh, basis for the kind of, or for why you're venturing down this route is because of investor appetite that's out there. Let's hone in specifically on Kenya and take a look at the demand that's out there for Kenyan equity specifically. Well, I suppose the other thing with Kenya is it's not just about Kenya. It's a gateway to East Africa. The securities exchanges uh, also have cooperation. And so uh, investors uh, throughout the world are looking at frontier markets. When we think of Africa, we're not thinking necessarily of Africa as, as a whole, but certain key markets within Africa. And Kenya, as it relates to East Africa, is a key market. It represents diversification. It's a, a classic growth story and investors need uh, indices and tools that can allow them to access those markets. Mm. Of course, uh, you highlighted that uh, this is set to have a liquidity impact on the market from year on out, but it also uh, sets to act as a foundation for the development of index-related products down the line, and the likes of ETFs are included here. So let's uh, run through that and the kind of promise we're looking at, because uh, it looks at a broader diversification of the market as well. Well, well, that's right. And one of the, 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 the big, strong points about the indices is that they are suitable in the creation of exchange-traded funds. Uh, the exchange here in Nairobi and the regulator are very close to approving exchange-traded funds. And these indices will, of course, allow that creation. So we'll open up uh, new products, uh, innovation, uh, and new channels, uh, not just here for the domestic marketplace, but for offshore investors that are looking to get exposure to Kenya and East Africa. This, of course, is the first initiative in East and Central Africa. It's the third in Africa after the JSC and the Casablanca Stock Exchange over in Morocco. Uh, progress has been pretty slow, many would say. Are you looking at upping the ante in terms of uh, the kind of uh, territories you'll be venturing into on the African continent? Well, in short, the answer is yes, we are. We have a number of other discussions going on with some of the key exchanges on the continent. We're also looking at how to give investors tools for addressing Africa as a whole. And I hope within the next few months we'll be able to make some further uh, announcements uh, about that. But as you rightly say, uh, some of these things have taken time, access to data, but also making sure that we create indices that are, are fit for purpose. Mm -hmm. FTSE calculates 150,000 indices a day, uh, but obviously in many cases the ultimate user is only interested in one or two of those and they have to be suitable, they have to be fit for purpose, they have to be investable and of course we want to make sure that we can follow that path. Could you give us a hint as to uh, a territory that you're possibly looking at next, Jonathan? Well, if you, if you take Africa as a whole, we're, we're, we're circa 52 countries, I think, and of course not all of those uh, countries on their own are going to be suitable for investment, and there are certainly key markets, as you've said. We have South Africa, 
Morocco, uh, we have uh, East Africa, so it's, it's probably fair to assume that there are opportunities in West Africa and then Pan-Africa as, as a whole.